Haunting Militia, Haunting Militia. It's 2K Live. And uh, I have a, a new tutorial to show you guys. This is my first time ever doing tutorials, so pardon me if it's not you know that great but we're gonna try I'm gonna try my best to make sure this is the most direct the easiest tutorial you can possibly see you know why because I made this tool this tool is called ether ether what that does is it it imports pofos and movesets so I know you're thinking about I mean I have CCT I could inject pofos and movesets but you know CCT has locked people out of you know whoever installed it whoever has codex you know those people can't enjoy modding WWE 2K19 because you know that game is delisted they can't even buy the game so I developed this tool and this is for everyone to use so you can go ahead and download ether don't need to install it it runs by itself however you still need to open it up and run it through administrate mode so you have to right click and open it through admin mode and it will open it up and first and foremost what you want to do is you want to open up your game and then you want to open up Ether. Now, some people, if you're new to this, if you're new to 2K19 modding, you might have came to the right place because uh, you might be thinking of what's a POFO, what's a moveset. POFO is short for, for, for a profile. You know, this file contains all the superstar stats, their tributes, their personalities, their traits, their hit point ratios, their abilities, and their payback settings. Pretty much basically all, all that defines that you know that wrestler's personality that's what's inside that pofo and the move set file that you know that holds the entire mold list so their grapples their taunts their signatures their finishers their chain wrestling sequences even their entrances and advanced entrances so that moves that file contains those type of modes and you know these these type of files have been around since since WWE 2K14, I believe. I could be wrong, but I believe they've been around since 2K14. And they remain a core of character editing, you know, for for, for the 2K games. And I know that they're called other, you know, other names for the newer games, but you know, I I like modding WWE 2K19. So we're gonna stick with Pelfos and most sets. So before you start, you wanna make sure you have your game open. Okay. So make sure you have your game open. And you want to make sure you have Ether open. And I personally, I like to go to the character select screen. Not the character select screen, but the, you know, but the my character screen just to, you know. And I like to go to the character that I'm about to edit. So, so I can see what's happening in real time. You don't necessarily need to do it, but I like to do it because I like to see what's going on. So first and foremost, when you, when you open up Ether, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to inject a different character inside of Adam Cole. But I'm gonna <laughs> I'm going to swap uh, a character. I'm gonna swap Adam Cole with let's go with I'm gonna select Braun Strowman. So I'm going to select Braun Strowman's slot and then I'm gonna export. Now you could export his Pofo or his moveset, or both. And this is a first for, you know, for 2K19. And in terms of POFOs and movesets, we have the ability to export both at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna export both. And you have the ability to export it in the, the main directory of the program. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It's gonna actually save it twice, save them both. And you have a nice dialogue at the bottom. You know, that shows if you've been successful, if it wasn't, which is just huge to me. I like to see what's going on in the back, if you know what I mean. But uh, export type, we have export both, like you said, like I said, and POFOs and movesets. You also have batch export, which is huge. Um, I like to export, you know, just in case if something happens, something crashes, I like to export everything, all my POFOs and movesets of my game. So you have the ability to export all POFOs, all movesets, or both. Just the press of one button and I'll show you in a second but since we exported pofos and most sets for Braun Strowman I am going to swap Braun Strowman I'm gonna swap swap Adam Cole's uh, slot I'm gonna I'm gonna put Braun Strowman in there and we're just gonna say uh, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go to Adam Cole's slot I could actually type Adam Cole I'm 
almost get Adam Rose. And one awesome thing that, you know, I just wanted to make sure because I have different different versions of this game and it's it's a time saver when you get to inject to all. So I have, you know, I added a mode where you can inject all. So you have inject all. So you could inject your PO4, your moveset in all modes. You have universe mode, my WWE, universe one, two, three, or all modes. So you want to go ahead and inject. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to browse Braun Strowman. As you can see, I exported a few POFOs and mode sets, but I'm going to inject the Braun Strowman mode set. And you don't have to select what you want to inject POFO and mode set. The, the program already knows. It's going to know what you select it and it's going to inject it to the right. So you don't have to say, oh, I want to select the POFO and I'm going to inject, oh, I want to select the move set. No, you just drag or drop or select. So I'm going to do all modes and I'm going to put them in Adam Cole. So technically, this is the move set. And if I go to Adam Cole's modes, I get to see the changes happen in real time because of the status log right here and because of what's happening on the left. If I press inject, boom. He has Braun Strowman's moveset. Now, if I wanted to keep this here, if I wanted to save this, you know, I could just press space, save all settings, and then now it's saved. Keep in mind, when you inject a POFO or a moveset, this is very, very important. It is very important that you save right after. You could even go to Aiden English, change his, you know, his crowd reaction from a bull to a cheer, save all settings. This saves that POFO and mode set in your game. If you don't do that, it's not saved. So you want to make sure that's imperative that you do that because, you know, a lot of people could just be uh, importing POFOs and mode sets for, for about an hour and you know, they, they play the game, then they exit out and they, you know, they wonder why their changes aren't in the game. And it's like, bro, you didn't save it. So we'll make sure you save all of your changes. So this is a dummy save. So I, you know, I'll make sure I saved it. But what I'm going to do is I want to change it to Braun Strowman. It still says Adam Cole. Remember, I want to put Braun Strowman in that slot. So I'm going to inject again. I'm going to browse a file first still gonna be Adam Cole slot go ahead and inject all modes notice that it did not find a universe one I don't this is a brand of save I never made a universe but it, it, it let me know that it didn't do it because I didn't have a universe one if I did it would be successful um, so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna do WWE my WWE I'm going to inject boom Braun Strowman all I got to do is press space turn him except when we go back If I go back to Braun Strowman, you're going to see Adam Cole's render. <laughs> so all you have to do is inject the character model. So I'm going to show you what Batch Explorer looks like. Now, this is still in the development stages. So I'm going to show you, hey, you want to uh, back your POFOs and move sets? You want to share them with a friend? And he's like, hey, man, I love your setup. Can I get you both POFOs and move sets? You're like, all right, cool. You open up Ether and you can just press one button and it exports both, all of them, uh, neatly into two separate folders labeled POFOs and mode sets. Uh, the only thing is, is that as soon as it's done, it crashes the program. It doesn't crash the game, but it crashes the program. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So I'm going to do, let's do all. And this is going to extract every single portfolio mode set in game. Oh, and it crashed. And that's what it's supposed to do. So, 
for example, if I open up this window, all pull folds, all move sets got extracted, and all pull folds got. And the main ether folder. So, and then you have it, you can share it, you can inject it, you can swap, you know, slots. You can say, hey, listen, I want to put Stone Cold in AJ slots, AJ uh, Styles slot. You can do that and you can just have fun with it. And this is the way that everyone can play. Everyone can play whether you have a backup version of this game, whether you have a Steam version of this game, whether you have a Codex version of this game. You know, this is everyone can still use it. Just keep in mind this is a new way of injecting pofos and move sets. It's a lot easier. That doesn't require having to swap EXEs. Now you don't have to worry about cheat engine. You don't have to worry about extracting pofos and move sets via cheat engine, which is I know it's a pain in the butt. So let's uh let's I have a lot of cool things. I have a few videos coming up. Please, if you guys like videos like this. If you guys want more tutorials for 2K19, just, you know, put a comment down there. Let me know. Let me know that you support, you support the cause. I have no problem. If you want help, you know, if you want a video installing, you know, arenas, uh, reassigning slots, name plates, or whatever, just, just put that in the comments. Let us know. This is Marty Militia. If you do want brand new mods, we do have mods from like Backports from WWE 2K25. We have... You know, there's a lot of cool things going on in Modern Militia. There's um, it's gonna be a link in the description below. Uh, you might want to check that out. It's a Discord link. It's a nice little community. We share mods, we share information, we help each other out. And uh, this, uh, you know, it's for most games. 19, we do support 19 heavy. And a lot of people think this game is dead, but you know, it's just, it's it's alive and well in, Mo in Modern Militia. It's alive and well in, in Modern Militia. So. You may want to check out Modern Militia. That's a Discord channel. You know, we engage. It's not toxic. We make sure if we're helpful to everyone. We, you know, we share information and we try to push this game forward. And there's a lot of cool things down the pipe that we have. A lot of great things we're working on. And uh, that's this is just one cool tool. So make sure you share. Make sure you support. You know, the more you support, the more I want to engage and, and the more I want to. And and more want to, more time I want to pour into this community. The more you guys support, the more you know with your with your engagement, with your likes, with sharing, that helps out. You know we can push this game. I have a really co cool little video. If you have any suggestions of what kind of video you want to see, you want to see uh you know if you guys want to see 2025 mods in this game, we can do that. AEW, old school attitude. We pretty much we're doing everything in modern militia. Just might want to go check that check that place out. You know. You might want to check that place out. So this is 2K Live. I'm signing now. Just showing you guys how to inject a POFO and a move set in game. And this is easy as, as hell, to be quite honest. If you don't know how to do it after this video, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. 